Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Taggart want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream, in case our enemies accessed it. You think they could have? I see your point, son. That might be bad. Look, I'm not gonna share every single detail of this data with you. As CEO of this company, there are things I can't release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I consider us all a team here, but we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just gonna have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Proof she was right. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. I wasn't trying to... Look. I don't want us getting upset over this. The data you're so nervous about is little more than a bunch of routine fact-finding reports. The kind of stuff I deal with every day. Megan pointed me in a direction and I followed up on it. That's all. And now that I've shared this much with you, I have to ask how you're knowing the fine details will keep the rest of us any more secure. Can't you trust me to take care of things from here? Boss, I'm sorry if you think this is a big waste of time. I just don't want to see anyone else getting hurt because of information I didn't have. But if you really believe this data can't hurt us, that it won't come back somehow and bite us in the ass, then I'll trust you. I can't be 100% sure of something like that, Adam. No one can. God damn it. All right. Look. The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. 
Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Highland Park? You've got to be kidding me. That's what Will was saying. Adam, we're hearing the most incredible rumors around here. Someone really ought to put a stop to it. That's what Will was saying. He heard Frank talking to David about it. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarif. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Hensha Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, 
It was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Did you hear? Police are saying a major firefight broke out in the Atlantic Road. They found dead gangers everywhere. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city. And most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. 